two men on opposite sides of the law. Ryan O'Neill, Bruce Dern, and between them, Isabella Johnny. Three loners playing a ruthless game none of them could afford to lose in The Driver. Ryan O'Neill is the driver. My line of work is kind of hard to come by. His reputation, the best wheel man in the city. His memory's not too good about last night. Yeah, you can do better than that. I don't have to. Did you ever get caught on one of your jobs? Hasn't happened yet. Bruce Dern is the detective. I'm very good at what I do. His reputation, the toughest cop in the city. You saw the man who was driving the car, yet you didn't identify him. You got a reason? I just don't like him. Now you get out of my town, because you go out on one more job, and I'm gonna nail you. You might be getting too big. Two men driven by their need to prove they were the best. How are you gonna get downstairs? I really like chasing you. Sounds like you got a problem. Much better at this game than you are. Now you win, you make some money. I win, you're gonna do 15 years. To them, the money, the law, even their lives no longer count. You don't care about the money. Might even send it to him. Who was best was all that mattered. This is a quiet part of the hunt. Trap's all set. Cowboy's out there somewhere. You've been set up, you know. To break the cop, the driver was willing to risk it all. To break the driver, the cop was willing to break the law. Go ahead, throw it! It'll cost you two years. Ryan O'Neill, Bruce Dern, Isabella Johnny, The Driver, a ruthless game between two legends. It's Sunday, February 9th, 1964. Thousands are mobbing the streets, praying for one glance. Oh my God. One touch. I figured out a way to get into the Beatles Hotel. The chances are a million to one. But some of them just might make it. Rosie, Grace, Pam, Janice, Smoko. And Ringo Klaus. Listen, I know everything there is to know about the Beatles. There's nothing I don't know about the Beatles. They've got no money, no tickets, no driver's license, stop the car. Oh, please stop the car. and no fear. I want to hold your hand. It's the song they were playing the night America fell in love. This is Faber College in 1962. You know, 1962 had to be the best year of my life. I was a member of Delta Tau Chi. The Deltas, what a great bunch of guys. Pluto. Hoover. Uh, raise your right hand. Pinto. Flounder. Flounder? <laughs> D-Day. Boone. It's not gonna be an orgy. It's a toga party. And look at me in 62. The Otter. School was fun in those days. The girl. The party. The friendships. The girls. Of course, we had our problems. Find me a way to revoke Delta's charter. You're out. Finished at Faber, expelled. 
I want you off this campus at nine o'clock Monday morning. Let's go! Tim Matheson. Would you go out with me? And Donald Sutherland as Jennings. Now, was Milton saying being bad is more fun than being good? National Lampoon's Animal House. Friends, I'm not given to wild, unsupported statements. And I tell you that we must evacuate this planet immediately. Jor-El, be reasonable. Once there was a civilization, much like ours, but with a greater intelligence, greater powers, and a greater capacity for good. tragic moment, that world was destroyed. But there was one survivor. Now, wouldn't that beat all get out? Because of the wisdom and compassion of Jor-El, because he knew the human race had the capacity for goodness, he set us his only son. His name is Kal-El. He will call himself Clark Kent. But the world will know him as Superman. This year, Superman brings you the gift of flight. Superman, the movie. Refreshers, the fizz that gets you whiz. Chinchin. Oh. Oh, this isn't Chinzano, is it? Oh, it is Chinzano. It's new. Oh, Chinzano Rosé. Rosé. Uh, well, Mamma mia, but of course, Chinzano Rosé. <laughs> you speak Italian. <laughs> oh, oh, those aromatic herbs, and I bet it's made from... Yes, yes, just as I thought, made from the finest Italian rosé wines. Yeah. 
And it's wet, too. Oh, the best rosé is always are, my dear. Now, from Cinzano, Cinzano rosé. Oh, Malcolm, I can't go dancing with my nose all blocked. Of course you can, Brenda. Try this. Six Sidex nasal spray. Works really fast. Oh, yes. Can I take it? Shouldn't need to. Lasts up to eight hours. Eight hours? Really? Good, wasn't it? Sinex. Didn't need it, did I? No, the evening. Well, been better without your mum. Fix Sinex nasal spray. Relieves in seconds. Lasts for hours. Welcome to the Waddington's House of Games. Lately, I've been doing some thinking. <laughs> Come into my thinks room. Here's block word. If you like word games, this one should keep you guessing. Here's my latest one. A box. A challenging game for two. See how quickly you can find the hidden pieces. Yes, two games from my thinks room to start you thinking. Block word and black box. Play them and turn your house into Waddington's House of Games. Well, that is the house settled. Now I will need a bank. Try the TSB. Keep enough cash in your account and get free checks. Splendid. Have them build me one next door. The TSB? It's the bank for me. from Lion's Made Space 1999. Icy lime flavor outside, oozy red center. Space 1999, with free picture cards from Lion's Made. Ooh, darling. 
Does she love me enough to... Of course I love her. But I should have butter kissed, don't I? Mm. Butter kissed. On sale now. Ladies and gentlemen, your projectionist tonight is Eric, who has a hot, thirsty job, which he does very well, and uh, unlike you, hasn't time to get himself a refreshing drink of Kia Ora. Thank you. first opened, it created a sensation and shark sightings increased by the thousands in all the vast and unknown depths of the ocean. How could there have been only one? was a terrible tragedy here. But today, Amity has a new hotel and the promise of a perfect summer. Now, just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water, the legend continues. Terry! Chief Brody, can, can we go, please? I think we may have another shark problem. Are you serious? Roy Scheider. Lorraine Gary <laughs> and Murray Hamilton. Look at this. That's a shark. <laughs> Look, Brody, you started a panic on a public beach. <laughs> now, what if somebody decides to sue us? <laughs> That's a shark. Did you ever stop to think about that? I know what a shark looks like because I've seen one up close. Ah! You better do something about this one because I don't intend to go through that hell again. Don't press it this time. Mike gets out there. <laughs> None of man's fantasies of evil can compare with the reality of Jaws.
the all-new Jaws 2. See it before you go back in the water.